Well, hello, Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome to the Leadership TKO Night Show. Uh, And I'm glad to be here. You could be right now listening in from the United States, from Canada, from uh, South Africa, the Virgin Islands, Barbados, Germany, because we have so many of you that are listening from all around the world. It is indeed a Friday night uh, here in the United States on the East Coast. I'm actually going live right now from Chesapeake, Virginia, where my company is headquartered. Uh, We do have a location in Nigeria, Africa as well. But this is Leadership TKO, the brand that's housed under uh, a limited liability company uh, that's entitled the International Leadership Education and Development Company. Okay, it's better known as the iLead Company. It's an acronym uh, or as LMBI or Lakeisha McKnight Brands International. Okay, so uh, you might have seen some of these names floating around, but it's all the same. It's the International Leadership Education and Development Company. All right. So uh, the brand really uh, partners up with uh, with associations, with universities, with small businesses to build winning leaders across the globe. And we do this by way of coaching, by way of consulting. Uh, we do this with mentorship services and so many other things and vehicles that we use all for the purposes of building leaders. And I'm so grateful for being under the mentorship and guidance of my of my mentor, whom I love a lot, uh, Dr. John Maxwell. So definitely uh, just pleased to be able to know that there are other people around the world who have a heart for leadership. And that's Jed. He's definitely one of those individuals who do. But we, we there are other women around the world who love to build leaders as well. And as a matter of fact, uh, with this brand, we do have a subdivision. The subdivision is Leadership TKO for Women. And I encourage you to visit the website, the primary website, leadershiptko.com to learn more about the brand. But you can also visit leadership TKO for women dot com to learn about the subdivision that's focused in on building female leaders. And, you know, it's under the subdivision that a campaign has been launched. Yes. And it's the Born to Lead 2017 campaign. This is where women around the world are coming together to unify for the purposes of of supporting one another, of, of sharing genuine love for one another, but also to raise concerns that women share around the world, highlight solutions to those concerns, and also to create new solutions. And so if you're listening in live, I want you to go ahead, like this episode, like the podcast. There should be a little button that says like, click the like button. Also, there's a chat feature where you can interact with me. Let me know that you're live. Go ahead and let me know your name and, um, you know, where you're listening in from, what part of the country of the U.S. or another country uh, where you're listening in from, because... I definitely would love to know that you're present and it's more engaging. It's more fun. It's more live uh, when you are doing that. So go ahead and do that as well. I am going to uh, share that I'm live uh, within a the campaign group with this women's campaign. We do have a group on Facebook and you can get connected to this group by simply going to www.borntolead2017.com. Born to lead 2017.com. And so I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I'm typing in join me. I am live. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and post this. And it's about 9.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when I am sharing this at this particular moment. And there are a couple of things I'm doing, of course, laying the foundation, helping you to get an understanding more about this campaign and how to get connected. Also to dive into our main topic for this month, which has a lot to do with child abuse uh, and neglect, as well as autism. I'm going to share more information about autism on next week. Uh, so stay tuned for that, because this is important. And there are a lot of parents who are raising children who have autistic who have t- autistic children or children that display autistic symptoms or signs, you know, things that they may do uh, that. And it's it can be very nerve wracking. I've learned uh, that it can be nerve wracking, of course, if you don't really understand it. Um, and of course, you know, with the general public, if they're not educated on it, then they would try to single these children out. And so it's important for us to bring awareness uh, to what's going on with our children today. 
Okay, doesn't make them odd. They're just different and they learn different. They do things a little bit differently. Okay, so and they need just as much love, just as much discipline um, and attention as any other child would. And maybe a little bit more. Okay, Uh, so I'm going to be sharing more about autism and bringing awareness to that on next week. Uh, and tying it all together, definitely with child with child abuse and neglect, uh, because there are some um, some commonalities and ways in which both of those areas cross paths. OK. All right. So let me go ahead and check in to see if there's anyone that's engaging with us live right now. Uh, we do have Regina Mixon, who is tuning in from Carson, California, here in the United States. So thank you so much, Regina, for joining us here on the platform. Uh, Again, if you're listening in, go ahead and let us know in the chat area uh, that you are here and where you're listening in from. Um, That's what we're here to do tonight. And then, you know, again, transitioning into the next piece. So, again, wherever you are, plug into the campaign. Let us know, ladies, it doesn't matter, you know, about our past and the mistakes that we've made or you've made. You are a woman and you are born to lead. Do not lose your femininity to to try to attract or maintain a leadership position. Be who you are and lead in a healthy way. And we're showing women around the world how to do that, setting the standard. Now, when I say we, it's myself and five other women. Uh, Takara Steele, Dr. Remy Duye. We also have um, Cheryl Harris Sutton, Shalia McDaniel, as well as Maricela Messner. All right. So all of these young ladies uh, have partnered with me uh, to put this campaign on. And we're continuing this campaign all the way through uh, the entire year of 2017. So if you're wondering, when is the campaign going to be over? We're going to be here for quite a bit. Um, And if God leads it uh, to to go into 2018, so be it. (laughs) Right. Uh, Because you can't just start something and then end it, especially if he wants it to continue. And if we if we haven't done all that we can do, why would we, especially if this is if leadership is a passion of yours, why would you conclude something as powerful as that? OK, but there's so much, you know, so many places that needs, you know, this campaign needs women to be awakened, you know, to some of the things that are going on, you know, especially physical health concerns that women face. And we're going to talk probably a lot about that in the month of May. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to conclude going back to the campaign, but I want to transition into talking about, um, you know, helping women to overcome trauma that was, was experienced in their childhood, specifically dealing with child abuse and neglect. Uh, There's some of you who, again, um, have not dealt with it or trying to really deny the fact that some of these things may have happened to you in denial. I know is one of the stages to healing, but you don't want to stay in that place. You don't want to stay in the place of denial where it's like, no, it never happened to me. No, uh, this doesn't happen to people like us. No, you don't. You don't want to have that type of mindset. If it happened, it happened. Now it's time to progress. It's time to move forward. It's time for you to realize that what was done was done. You can't change it, but you can you can overcome and rise above it. That's what you can do. And that's what I'm rooting for you to do. And I'm quite sure all of my other sisters are part of this campaign and everyone else is rooting for you to do. So you're not in this journey alone. Uh, because again, I've, like I've shared and been transparent as possible that I've experienced some of these things as well, but I didn't let trauma uh, hold me back. I used it as a springboard to move forward. And you see, if it wasn't for the trauma, why would I be encouraging individuals like you to be able to overcome? You see, God uses these things for our good, not necessarily to bring us down. That's what the enemy tries to do. But he doesn't understand the plan of God. Uh, and neither does he have power over him because, because he, you know, his time is short. We know that the enemy's time is short. But understand that you have the power within to overcome. It starts with you. You know, we I can't just like, for example, going out of a door, thinking about think about it. You're leaving out of your house. You know, you have to leave the house in your mind. You're like, man, I got to get out of this house. But no one can actually force you out unless, you know, it causes a conflict. But we want 
peaceful transition. We don't want to have to be forced out because then you don't, there's no power behind it. You know, you can, you'll have that idea that you want to go back in the house because somebody forced you out. But instead, you have to have that, that fire, that desire to want to leave out so that you take initiative. And it's a genuine desire to want to leave. And that's the same thing when it comes to having experienced trauma. You have to want to leave out of that place of bondage because of what has happened. Because some of you are still there. I know some of you are still there because I've seen it even with with working with women, providing coaching for them. They were still in that place. But now, see, you you have to really press forward. You have to press through uh, those moments and say, you know what? I'm going to get out of this. I'm in the process of getting as a matter of fact, I'm out in your mind. You have to be out so that your your mind guides what your body does and the decisions that that you're going to make. So it's important that you start with your mind and begin to think, okay, I got to get out of this so that you can begin to take action, whether it be forgiving yourself, forgiving your abuser or neglector, you know, getting some necessary help that you need, therapeutic help, whatever it may be. These are some things that you need to do. This is how you're going to overcome trauma. Okay. Um, I've shared that there are several resources out there that will possibly be able to help you. Uh, abuse and neglect is real. It's not just something you really talk about during one month. I'm just going to be honest. It's something that needs to continue be, to be talked about. That's just like um, celebrating your birthday on your one day. In actuality, we need to be celebrating life every single day, right? We should be. So not just celebrating on your, your, your born day where you were brought into the world, but celebrating life every single day. So it's just an example. And that's something we're going to incorporate, by the way, if you're listening and you're a part of the campaign group on Facebook, we're going to be incur- in incorporating birthday celebrations. Yes, we're going to have parties for all the ladies whose birthdays in certain months. We're going to do that. I know some people will call that a little bit cheesy, but I don't because it's, you know, it's a way in which we can structurally celebrate you. Right. in in a way that uh, we recognize that, you know, specific women as a group rather than, eat, you know, one person each day, because that can be a lot. Remember, we're trying to reach a goal of 10,000 women in that group at a minimum. We know that we're going to reach more women like yourself that's listening in, but we want a, a minimum of 10,000 women. So y- if you want to be a part, you want to help us in, in acknowledging that you're part of the number with us, definitely visit www.borntolead2017.com. That way you can be included in the number. We don't know if you're listening in. We don't know if you're connected if you don't go to the website. And allow your your connection to the campaign to be official. And if you're listening in and you're already in the group, but you're like, man, I I invited so many women uh, to be a part of the campaign. You can also get their name, get their email address, complete the form for them and submit it in. Right. And, you know, invite them, meaning um, inside of the group, there should be an area to the right where you can actually put their invitation in, put their name in and they'll be added in the queue and we'll add them. And they can become official that way. I know some women have busy, busy lives and they sometimes don't get to the things that they want to get to. So it's OK. But as long as you get consent and you get permission, go ahead and do that. OK, so we talked about how you can overcome trauma just a little bit. Right. We didn't want it to be too heavy on a Friday here. Uh, and we talked about a little bit about the campaign, but there's something special I wanted to do today. A little fun. Um, and that is, of course, recognize some business owners that are a part of the campaign. And of course, I asked them to send me their uh, business names and uh, their website addresses that I'm going to share. So I don't know all the details about all of these companies, but I'm going to sh- I'm going to share with you some of them. OK, so just bear with me as I'm trying to pull it up. Okay. All right. All right. So I definitely want to shout out Monica Sessoms Vaughn. Monica Sessoms Vaughn. She um, is connected to the Triumphant Scholars Academy Tutoring Services. So shout out to Monica and her academy. Thank you so much for for being connected to the campaign. All right. We do have a few others that I'm going to go back in uh, and definitely recognize. 
We also have uh, Melissa Jacobs. Melissa Jacobs, she's with a company that's called Inspire. Um, and you definitely can visit her company and learn more about her at N, just the letter N, inspirenetwork.com forward slash Melissa Jacobs, M E L I S S A Jacobs, J A C O B S. So N, as in the letter N, Spire network.com forward slash Melissa Jacobs to learn more about what it is that she's doing, but she's connected to the campaign as well. So thank you for being connected, Melissa. Now let's get the, let's get working. Invite those women to the campaign to get connected. We must lead by example. Okay. All right. So I do believe we have a few others to recognize. I believe, of course, we have Nakia Cook. Nakia Cook is also connected to the campaign. Uh, The name of her business is, and of course, we don't want to lose where we are, but the name of her business is Everything Kia, and that's Everything K-I-E-A. LLC. And so you definitely can learn more about her company by going to Everything Kia. That's everything, E V E R Y T H I N G K I E A dot com. And she's connected to the campaign as well. So, Nakia, we got some work to do. Go ahead and invite some more women into the campaign group. We have to lead by example. All right, we do have some more individuals who are connected. Actually, one of the main campaign leaders, uh, Dr. Remy Duye, she has she's definitely one of the leaders uh, you want to get to know and find out more about what it is that she does. Uh, you can learn more. Her name, her business name is Remy Speaks, Remy Speaks. And you can visit her website to learn more about what she does at www.remy, R-E-M-I, R-E-M-I speaks with an S dot com. So www.remyspeaks.com. So again, thank you so much, Remy. Let's get working. We have hundreds of women we need to be inviting, uh, especially because of your your connections uh, to our sisters in Africa. So let's get them connected and plugged in. Thank you so much for being one of the leaders in this campaign. We also have Candace K. Merritt. Candace K. Merritt is connected to the campaign, uh, and we are grateful for your connection. Her business name is Peaceful Solutions, Peaceful Solutions, Meditation and Conflict Consulting. Uh, and you can learn more about uh, Miss Merritt's services by going to www.peacefulsolutions101.com. Again, that's wwwpeacefulsolutions one oh one. Dot com. So thank you, Candace. Let's get busy. We have to invite some more sisters into the group so that we can lead by example. And again, that's mediation, mediation. Mm-hmm. So mediation and conflict consulting. Thank you so much, Candace. All right. Let me make sure I'm not leaving anyone out here. But we also have, we cannot forget, uh, Safia, Safia uh, Calendar Nelson. She has quite a bit going on. There's many things that you can learn about uh, Safia. Uh, and she has a special business, one, of course, that focuses in on um, domestic violence. And I definitely would love for you to connect because that's one of the areas that we do focus in on with this campaign. Uh, she's on Facebook. You can definitely connect with her at www.facebook.com forward slash scars of survival scars, S C A R S of O O O actually O F. I can't even get that out. O F survival. So scars of survival. And that's her, uh, her tag there that's connected to Facebook. So definitely get connected with her uh, because that's a big topic. You know, some of you may have experienced that. So uh, Safia, we have some women we need to be inviting to the campaign group. Some women who need empowerment, who may have experienced a lot as it pertains to domestic violence. So let's lead by example and get them plugged in. All right. So let's see. I believe we have yet someone else, of course, that's connected and actually on the platform tonight. And I did mention that Regina Mixon is listening in live. Uh, You can definitely find out more about what she's doing. She's doing some amazing things from California. Uh, Learn more about Regina and what she does. She's a speaker. She's an author. She's a book publisher and so much more. You can learn more about Regina Mixon by going to www.reginamixon.com. 
www.regina.org. That's www.regina.mixon, that's with an M as in money, Regina Mixon enterprises.org. So thank you, Regina, for being a faithful, faithful connection with this campaign. We have a lot of work to do, especially with, of course, empowering our sisters there in Cali. So continue to invite them into the group so that we can lead by example. Let me make sure I'm not leaving anyone out uh, that connected and actually shared what it is that they do. So I believe we have hit on almost everyone uh, who tuned in. Okay, I believe that we hit on almost everyone who tuned in. Let me make sure I haven't leave, left anyone out. I think that that, for the most part, is it. Now, of course, you can definitely learn more about me and about the company. We already shouted out the website address, which is leadershiptko.com. Um, that's really the heart uh, of this particular brand. Uh, again, TKO stands for Truths That Have Kept the Overcomer. And these are truths that are really um, at the foundation of how we're able to lead in our homes, uh, lead in the corporations, as well as in business for those of you who are entrepreneurs. Uh, so it's very, very powerful. I would love for you to definitely learn more. I know when we f- when we first started out, and I've been sharing about the campaign, I talked about how uh, there are 12 essential frameworks that, that really lay at the foundation of this brand. And we talked about it. You can look at some previous episodes, listen to a couple of them. It shares more. Also, we have a book that's coming out right? It's probably going to be out somewhere near the end of June. So stay tuned for that at the end of June. I just want to make sure all is well with it before we release it. You definitely want to get your hands on it because it lays the foundation. I kind of share a lot about my journey and leadership in that particular book, uh, but also, you know, just really help you to understand what, how did this brand come about and how does this impact you? How can you, as a, as a woman, um, really lead and lead well where you are, lead yourself and and lead in every type of uh, situation. So we talked about that. And how does that really impact you as an entrepreneur? You know, what is that direct connection between leadership and business ownership? You know, when you do mess up as you lead, how do you fix it? So we talk a lot about that uh, in the Leadership TKO book that's going to be released pretty soon. So stay tuned for the actual release date. I know for the Leadership TKO for Women book, that's a part of this campaign, uh, that book is going to be released towards the end of the summer. So we're shooting for August, but we're going to give you a date relatively soon. So stay tuned for that. Now, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anyone, not missing anyone. I do believe we do have one that also just came in uh, from Coretta Campbell. Coretta Campbell is um, hopefully she's listening in um, again. If you're listening in and there's a chat area nearby, go ahead and let us know that you're listening in live. But we thank you, Coretta Campbell, uh, for uh, definitely being a part and connected to this campaign. Uh, she's actually with a company that's entitled Tracy Lynn Jewelry. Uh, that's a popular jewelry uh, chain here, um, I think, based of course, in the United States, but they do serve women all around the world. Uh, you can definitely connect with Coretta Campbell and her uh, her business here by going to www.tracy, T-R-A-C-I, Lynn, L-Y-N-N, Jewelry, J-E-W-E-L-R-Y, dot net, forward slash, three, four, two, one. And those are the numbers, three, four, two, one. All right, so it's tracylynnjewelry.net, forward slash three, four, two, one. So we thank you so much, Coretta Campbell, for being connected. You know what I'm about to say. It's time now to lead by example and invite more women into the campaign group. We have a 10,000 woman goal and you're a part of it. So let's lead on. All right. I believe that that marks one of the final women in business that I am going to recognize tonight. Uh, remember this this particular campaign, we're working on it in the podcast to be Monday through Fridays at nine o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have our weekly uh, discussion here via podcast, uh, but you know we definitely definitely get access to links and those important things in the group. But we highlight important matters on Mondays at nine o'clock. Okay. So you do listen in, but you really don't get the full just of it. You have to be at a part of the group. So visit born to lead 2017.com to be a part of the group. So the weekend is here. 
but it does not mean that we're stop we're going to stop campaigning. We really have to push it forward. We have 10,000 women we want to aim and and bring awareness to this agenda. We have about I think it's a little over 700 in the group right now. We're far from the goal. So we have a lot of work to do. Many of which many of you probably have over 4,000 friends on your connected to yourself on Facebook. So many of them you can invite. That's nearly half. This is for one person, half of the goal. So let's get moving. Let's get working. They have a decision to make if they want to stay a part of the campaign or if they want to move forward, but allow them to be able to decide. And so we thank you so much. I thank you for all of you listening in from around the world. Appreciate it. We're going to be back here on Monday. Uh, with some great content, again, talking about abuse, but also transitioning and bringing awareness to autism. Okay. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until Monday, I encourage you to think, speak, and live leadership.